One type of project landscape architects are trained to do is the restoration of deserted, polluted urban spaces. Here we have an abandoned refinery. As with many locations formerly used for heavy industry, the soils are contaminated and debris and garbage are strewn around the area. Due to residual toxins and biohazards, it is unhealthy for the general public to interact or even approach these sites. These places are called brownfields. Restoring these sites is not that complex. First, garbage and debris are removed and relocated. Wood, concrete, and other materials are removed and recycled as best possible. With the site cleared of debris, bioremediation can begin. Bioremediation is a process by which select types of vegetation are seeded into the contaminated soil. As the plants grow, the toxins are leached out and the soil becomes healthy. The plants are actually nourished and thrive on the pollutants. The seeded shrubs, flowers, and ground cover convert the toxins into harmless byproducts or store them in their fibers. Over time, the vegetation starts to cover the entire site, purifying the ground underneath. The habitat and soils are slowly returning. Plant types are chosen based on the type of toxins and contaminants found in the soil. The end result is striking. The once abandoned site is filled with vegetation and robust healthy soils. The last phase in reclaiming the area is redevelopment. Locations like this former refinery can be built up into a variety of uses, from parks and museums to retail and residences. Trails and pedestrian amenities are added, and the now healthy soils can support different types of plants and vegetation. New plant species are introduced or migrate to the site. Trees are planted and start to grow. The development, in this case a park and museum, incorporates the old refinery building and equipment into the new park. What started out as an abandoned, polluted processing plant is now a vibrant public landmark. To quickly summarize, a brownfield contaminated site is identified and cleaned up. Plants are introduced and grow in the soils removing the toxins. This is called bioremediation. The site is redeveloped into a community and urban amenity. And an important ecology and habitat is restored.